Um, next, I think we should talk about best commissioner in the world, Adam Silver. Great guy, great ideas. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass the lead off to Devin here because he knows a shit ton more about basketball than I do. I don't want to say that, but maybe a lot, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so Adam Silver is out here trying to conduct, just come up with an idea that we can get people to watch the game and get the game going again. Whether it be, you know, having like a secure, a secure location and maybe like getting like whoever is corona free there and just playing like expedition games. Kind of like a Harlem at the Rucker. I mean, work at the Harlem like Adams. You got it. Anyway, you know, this old school classic playground rules where you show up and you know what? They might just be like, all right, guys, this is captain. That's a captain. We'll pick teams and go. And like whoever can make it, awesome. And that way we at least get a product and a little bit more entertainment. And then as we said before, kinds of kind of bring us back to normalcy. Yeah, and even if it wasn't like straight pickup ball, even though that would be so much fun to watch, even if it was like an actual game with just like an all star game right. with these guys just going head to head against each other and like doing whatever and just having fun, I still think that would be it'd be more fun to watch because I feel like they'd get if you were going in a string of games against other top talent, not just the All-Star game, which doesn't really mean anything, but if you were just like playing a bunch of separate games against your guys, I feel like guys would get competitive about it. I feel oh. like I feel like LeBron would be like, "Well, every team I was on won." So, and LeBron. you know what I mean, like I feel like it would be more fun than the all-star game even though i'd still pay just to see that just to see who wins that day gives the gambler something to gamble on you can pick team a team b like something like that um but speaking of entertainment and basketball i did find out that a bunch of players from the WNBA and nba are getting together and doing a virtual course competition i did see that that's crazy. You know, it's going to be headlined by Chris Paul, Trey Young, and Hall of Famer Tamika Catchins of the WNBA. I believe there's eight players. They're going to be matched up, and they're doing this from their homes and stuff. Yeah, I feel like the guy players are going to do them so dirty and just dunk on it, the girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's funny you mentioned that because Zach Levine, two-time Sam Dunk, went him. He's in the contest. Trey Young tweeted at him, been like, hey, man, no Duncan. To which Zach Levine just laughs. And we'll see if he has a special dunk he's been saving for this one particular moment. I feel like that'd be fun to watch. Anything would be fun to watch at this point. It would, but, uh, but I mean, I want to see some trick shots. I want to see someone pull crazy 360 off the backboard, you know, tomahawk reverse slam or something like that. I just oh yeah, bunch of words together. I just want to see Steph drain a full court shot. Steph in it, <laughs> dude. That's not even horse for him. That's just warm ups. Yeah, right. Like fuck you. 